Hey guys, welcome to A Journey in Light. Today we have a pick a card on basically if you're heartbroken, you've been through a recent breakup, or still just agonizing over a breakup, or you're in separation from like a twin flame situation. Um, this is on what you need to um, focus on, guidance for healing, things you need to hear, things you need to know um, to help you out during this period, um, during a hard period of your life, and just, just some truths and wisdom and guidance for, again, what you need to hear um, just to help you out, because anyone coming to this one is probably in a bad spot, so this is just some, some good messages for you guys to help you heal. So we have three piles, one, two, three. The timestamps will be below. Feel free to meditate on this. Go for the first one you feel drawn to. If you feel drawn to more than one, then you may have messages in both. This is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, there could be messages in all of them. Feel free to whatever you're drawn to. Just go with your gut feeling. And uh, the timestamps will be in the description box below. And uh, just find your pile and I will meet you there. Okay, pile one. This is your stone. And it's hematoid and quartz. And let's see what our cards have today for um, this video is on helping heal during a breakup, heartache, separation, and a twin flame situation. What do you need to know um, to help you get through this and uh, just for overall guidance for that kind of thing. So first we have control. We have the eight of shells, which is the eight of cups. life experience which is the tower and we have the two of swords in reverse I'm trying to get these where I'm trying a new angle so let's see all right um, what I'm getting is you need to relinquish your control or your need for control over how this journey is going to be. So maybe you have an idea in your head on what this is supposed to look like, how this relationship was supposed to be. You know, um, you, you wouldn't be here if you weren't hurting. So you're being urged to let go of your control. Or on the flip side of that, you may also be asked to learn to control your feelings, not allow them to control you. So... The big key point, first card, is about control. So um, if you resonate with that, then this is your pile. If you're not, then go ahead and go to another one or just listen throughout. Um, so first message is control. Next is of the Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Cups is kind of like leaving something behind and going on a journey. And um, most of the time it's a journey of, you know, for yourself. It's an inner journey, a healing journey. So um, you're going on a quest for renewal. So keep that in mind as you're going through, you're wanting to hold on to control or your grip of this relationship. You're missing that this is part of your journey and you need to let go of that control and that need to yeah, control the relationship, control what's going on. Let that go, like turn your back on, on that and go on your journey inward. Not surprising, we have life experience. Well, I love that it, okay, the ta this is the tower, but in this deck, it's called life experience because that's what all this is. Everything in life is a learning experience. We came here on earth to learn contrast, um, to learn sorrow, to not just learn the hardships, to learn the good things, but it's the polarity that we need to learn in life. Um, so you can't fully appreciate the good without knowing the bad. That kind of stuff so this says a significant life event a powerful revelation leads to change time to spread your wings so these kind of go hand in hand it's time to let go of your control and go on this journey because it's about experience so you need to stop just 
I don't want to be harsh in this, so in no way am I trying to diminish anyone's emotional feelings because they are real, they are true. But try not to get so caught up in all this pain and controlling it and realize how beautiful this is and that life is happening for you, it's not happening to you. So if you can see, open your eyes and realize that this, this huge event, this traumatic painful situation you're going through is leaving you leading you to possibly you know a spiritual awakening and ascension just you're learning a lot in this you just have to choose to see the lesson instead of the heartache and so I feel like some of you guys are are have been in that not wanting to see this but with this being in reverse I think a lot of you guys are starting to realize that yeah, this has a purpose. I don't need to be blindfolded. I can step out of this not wanting to see the truth. And um, you know, we have the moon up here too, so that's about intuition, also cycles. So a cycle of life that you need to go through. So um, I don't. I feel like because it's in reverse, you guys are starting to let go of your of your control and realize to go with the flow. All right, let's see what else we have. We have hobbies. So if you're trying to figure out, well, gosh, I have all this energy, all this focus you're you're spending on, you know, this pain or heartache or thinking how things should have been, how you wanted things to be, maybe it's time to be like, what do you really like to do? Do you even remember? A lot of time we get into these relationships and we get so focused on it, we forget what do you really, what, what did you like to do? What lights you up? What hobbies make you happy? So, um, and even they can just be a distraction, a helpful creative outlet for some of this energy that you're going through so you're being asked to to look back into your hobbies if you already know what your hobbies are to focus on that and if you don't then start writing down what do you like what makes you happy what light, lights you up you know what makes you shine deceit so I feel like a lot of you guys might have felt like you've been like someone's been deceitful towards you I don't feel like you've been deceitful towards yourself. I feel like this is a, a feeling of deceit, so you need to let that go. Any anger, any heartache you're having about how things should have been or could have gone, you're just only you know, fooling yourself. So again, it's time to move past that. We have why in reverse. I figure maybe you know you guys have been asking like why, you know, why did this happen to me? Why is it, why am I going through this? Why, 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 why? But it's time to move past that energy. And um, again, why did this happen to me? Start figuring out, well, what, what is the lesson in this? You know, seeing, okay, so this is not only just a question of why, but this card is she's reaching towards a book of knowledge. So start trying, instead of, you know, getting focused on the pain, like, Look at the lesson, like what was this trying to teach me? What can I get out of this? It wasn't for nothing. I didn't go through all this for just to go through it. I went through all this to learn a lesson, a life experience. So try to figure out why and what that was for. Then we have Horus. Scatter love wherever you go. So a lot of times when we go through a hard time, you know, a lot of us get caught up in that. So just don't forget to to still, you know, spread your love because that that feels good. You know, do things that that make you feel happy and loving. So, yeah. Sorry, I'm just trying to see if I'm getting anything else from this. And even like almost, I don't know why I'm getting this message, but almost like compartmentalizing your heart. <laughs> I mean, I don't. Hmm. I don't ever want to say someone to like to shut off your heart because that's not good either. Um, but maybe just 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 put this heartache in a basket, let it go for a little bit, and 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 fly. I don't know why that came to me. Hopefully that means something to somebody. Okay, we have change. Not surprising in this pile. Expand your flexibility for change, and you'll enjoy the vit vitality of life ahead. So basically, once you get past all your your need to control and your hangups on how this, you know, happened, and and start embracing this change, you'll see that there's a bunch of vitality. Look at all these butterflies in this picture. And a butterfly, I mean, everybody understands that um, whole thing about transformation. So it's time for you to spread your wings and start flying forward. 
relaxation. So stop your world from spinning by partaking in well-deserved moments of relaxation. So you're also being encouraged to, to love yourself a little bit, slow down, rest, relax, you know. Maybe you, some of your hobbies are relaxing for you. So um, think of things you can, you can do that just makes you feel good. If you don't meditate yet, I always suggest everybody start meditating. Um, a lot of people are like, I can't quiet my mind to meditate. Um, it's called a practice for a reason. Your mind's gonna wonder, it's okay. So once I think you get can get rid of that judgment against yourself on how often your mind does what your mind does, because it's what it does, um, then you can start just relaxing. So even if you start with like four to five minutes, try to do five days a week and build up to a 20 minutes a day would be really, really great start. Um, but just find, if that's not relaxing, take a bath, um, go for a run, cook whatever it is that you like to do that you find relaxing you're being suggested to focus on that so focus get get away from this heartache start focusing on things that that make you happy temptation so with this card i feel like some of us some of the people watching might be tempted to reach out to that ex i'm going to tell you Anytime that temptation starts popping up that I want to reach out to them, I want to have some sort of, con it's really just about control and lack of control is how no one likes to feel not in control. So you need to release that temptation and start focusing on things that make you relax, things that make you happy. Um, yeah. So this is like a warning card. Resist the temptation. Realize that you're about to do it and change your focus. Whatever you need to do to change your focus in that moment and whatever that feeling is, you need to start, even if you plan ahead, you're like, if I start feeling down where I wanna reach out to this person, I'm gonna do X, Y, Z instead. Kinda of like planning for that to happen because it's gonna happen. Discernment. You're developing the skills to distinguish between, between love from fear and truth from illusion. So I feel like through learning all this, you guys are starting to realize, you know, what was love based decisions in my life, what was fear based decisions, and truth from illusions. Um, yeah, so again, you're learning a lot. Discernment is a really good tool to learn. Just recognize that all this, you're, you're doing okay. So I feel also the need to tell you guys, you're doing a good job. Stop being so hard on yourself. Healing is not linear. It's all over the place. So one day you're going to be up here, you know, one day you're going to be down here and, and, and in between. And just know that it's okay. And just as long as you keep moving forward, even if it's at a turtle pace, you're doing okay. Because you're learning things. You're, you're building your you're building character. Maybe you didn't want, but you're getting it. Okay. Honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth. So maybe somebody was wearing masks in the situation. I'm not sure. But honesty is always the best policy, even if just being honest with yourself. Um, if you have the temptation to write them or reach out to them, maybe instead write it down on a piece of paper and I know this sounds silly to some people but you can go outside and, and burn it in a safe place or in a pot or somewhere like that's not going to catch anything on fire but um, you know maybe be honest truly honest with yourself with what you'd want to say to that person and then like release that we have unconditional love and I feel like this is asking you to do for unconditional love for yourself. Again, I feel like some people watching this might be really hard on themselves. Like, why am I so hung up on this? Why is this so hard? It's, I've been through way worse in my life and I'm really hung up on this. You know, everything's different. It's okay, but you're doing a good job. So unconditional love for yourself. Find the things that light you up. Relax. Scatter love wherever you go. I mean, this also, like, going back to this, might be changing your viewpoint because he's flying on how you view love and just start giving it freely without any expectation in return because he's just dropping love everywhere and you know that's a that's a freeing way to be um to give without the expectation of like i'm you know it's unconditional love <laughs> basically so yeah giving without wanting to receive anything in in return and i'm not talking about your significant other. I'm just talking about in general. Have a love for life and, and open that freely. We have passion and purpose. Your enthusiasm gives you energy and motivation to work on a meaningful project that's dear to your heart. 
So, you know, again, this kind of goes into like what I was talking about, what lights you up. If that's a hobby, that's a special interest, something that, that just it excites a passion in you, you're being asked to find your passion and your purpose. And again, shift all this energy you were spending on this heartache and put it into something you're passionate about because it'll be very fulfilling. It doesn't come from an outside source. So, um, yeah, I think it'll really lift you up. Let go. <laughs> I don't know how much more clear that one is. So again, it's time to let this pain go and move forward with yourself. Even, you know, again, journeys are not linear either. So it doesn't mean things won't come back around in a cycle. Um, but it's time to, to let the heartache go, to, to accept some change, do things for yourself, have unconditional love for yourself, and, and be honest with yourself. I'm unapologetic about what I desire and trust that I, that what I focus on will grow. So I think you need to focus on yourself, focus on what makes you happy, focus on your hobbies. Anything that brings you joy and happiness is where your focus needs to be and you'll see everything in your life start to grow from there. If you're feeling stuck, start shifting into, you know, shift your energy into something that you love that isn't coming from an outside source, that's strictly from you, because no one really can take that away from you. And our last little thing is, um, these are the divine doors. I love these cards. I just like architecture, so if anyone's in there with me, I, I love it, all right. A moment's joy. Sand through the hourglass, yet time could stand still. A moment lasts forever in the bliss of heart's will. Hmm. I mean, that's a nice little message, so. I think this is just going back to filling your own cup, finding out any, you know, finding the unconditional love for yourself because no one can take that from you. And yeah, I think that's our biggest message. Sorry, I'm a little scattered on this one. Um, I think you just need to, you're being asked to find your purpose. Be kind to yourself. I feel like I need to yell that to some people. Be nice to yourself. Um, this is a journey and just start finding you know things that bring you joy and focus on that and um, recognize that this is you know if you keep going back to you know this whatever this happened and whatever change or stagnation you're in just try to look for the lesson and stop you know dwelling in the pain of it so pile one I hope that resonates I hope you guys got something good out of that um, and uh, again, if you're drawn to another pile too, feel free to check them out. There's messages in all of them, I'm sure. I haven't got that far yet. <laughs> but um, if you did like this, please like, subscribe, share, click the bell icon. I will be doing lots of different types of videos. I hope you enjoy this. I really enjoyed um, chatting with you guys. And I will uh, see you guys in a later video. Thank you so much. Hey, pile two. All right, let's see what we got. Here's your stone. Um, I think it's called Sepertine. I have the sheet somewhere. It's really pretty though. Really like this stone. All right, let's see what we got for you guys. <sighs> Sorry, there's a lot of, this one's making, this whole reading is gonna make me feel very heavy because there's a lot of pain just from this subject. So what we're going over is heartbreaks, um, breakups and separations. What can, what advice do you need? What kind of things do you need to focus on? What do you need to know during this period and transition in your life? Or this one's going to be really heavy. I don't know. I'm feeling super heavy. So you guys that are watching, if you're really sad, I'm really sorry because I'm feeling it. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to get through this. All right. Hmm. Laziness. So <laughs> You know, I'm looking at this card. He looks pretty happy, though. <laughs> but basically, what how I'm going to read this is if you are just sitting there, not that it's lazy, wallowing in your grief, it's time to get up and do something. That's how we're reading this. Um, trigger warning: I might there might be some tough love in this 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 message. So um, 
basically I say this to a lot of people about grief. Grief is a place that you visit. Grief is not a place that you unpack your bags. You travel through grief, you do not stay there. So I feel like if anyone is has unpacked their bags and their grief, it's time to vacation elsewhere. So we're moving out of grief, guys. That's our overall message. We are moving out of grief. King of Feathers, which is the King of Swords. So um, this is all about logic and justice. So I feel like maybe people watching might feel like they got the, like, however this ended wasn't fair. Maybe that's put you in a spot of just not knowing what to do, so you choose to do nothing. Um, but just know that not everything is gonna be logical. People aren't logical, emotions aren't logical. Not everything's always gonna be fair, but you are the ruler of your own life, so what you can control are your thoughts and your actions. So yeah, that's what I'm getting from this. So we need to start being the king of our own thoughts and don't let your thoughts rule you because you rule your thoughts. There's not much we have control over in this life, but we do have control over how we allow things to affect us um, and our thoughts about them. All right, let's keep going. Nine of air, nine of swords. Okay, yeah, I know I'm feeling like this. Experiencing or expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecies and sleepless nights. So anyone knows in the traditional tarot, this is like, Someone in bed, lots of knives, lots of pain, lots of anxiety, lots of sleepless nights. This is the very anxious card. Um, yeah, guys, I'm sorry. You know, I'm feeling you. This hurts. This hurts. But we do have control over our thoughts. We, we, we don't have to allow them to control us. I know that's hard to see right now. Obviously, if you're in this area, energy, it's hard to see, but this is a nine, so we're moving out of the cycle. So just know those sleepless nights are coming to an end. Um, we need to find better, hopefully we'll get some better guidance in here on what to do when you're in that moment. I have some ideas, but we're gonna keep going with the cards. This is not about me, so this is about the cards. So now we have a five of air. You guys are very in your head. This is all air, so we could have some air signs in here. Um, you're very much in your head about the situation, thinking a lot, thinking, 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 constant thinking, anxious, up at night thinking. You need to breathe and let it go. Um, find to ground yourself if there's any way you can get out. I know it's kind of wintery time in a lot of places. Um, if you can get outside and ground yourself, if you have an indoor plant, if you can bring in rocks or something, um, or crystals, something of the earth, you need to, you need to start grounding your energy because you're way too in your head. So on this card, it's an unwise choice. Learn what you can from the situation. Review everyone's motives. So, uh, we talked about this a lot in pile one. Um, we did come... Like the whole purpose of our life is to come here to learn lessons and learn polarity in life. And um, you can't understand fully like love or happiness and all that without understanding grief and sorrow and sadness. So the part of the mission when we come to life is just to learn polarity and learn these things. So um, start realizing like what, what happened in your battle or your fight and there's a lesson to be learned in there. So if you're going to spend all that time thinking, start shifting your thoughts into looking for the lesson in all of this. Because I promise you there is one. You might not be able to see it, but if you can step away, take yourself out of it and look at it objectively, you're going to see the lesson. Aww, Ace of Wands. So this is like a call to renew your passions in life and find what like sets the like wands are all about. Um, they're fire suits, so they're all about energy, movement, passion, you know, your career, your creativity, anything you're really enthusiastic about, you're being asked to shift your focus from this pain to something that excites you. So what lights you up? What makes you feel good? We talked about this a lot in Pile 1. I have a feeling this whole reading is going to talk about this because I feel a lot of this journey is all about loving ourselves and finding, finding ourselves. Um... I know not everyone, but a lot of people tend to lose themselves a little bit. Not that you mean to in a relationship. So this is about asking you to find what lights you up again. Hmm. Realizations and epiphanies. So, you know, again, this goes with like learning what you can from the situation. 
I think when you guys stop and step back, you're gonna have some aha moments about what this is really teaching you, what you can really learn from this, and how you can take it into other aspects of your life. Um, yeah, there's definitely some good epiphanies here. And maybe you'll even find what sparks you for maybe the first time in your life, you know? Sometimes when you go through really hard things, that's when you really truly find yourself and find what you love. So if you haven't gotten any realizations, epiphanies, just know that they're coming. So that's really kind of exciting. That's a, that's a promising card. All right. Hostiles. So we see this guy with a, with a sword. I still feel like some people are still in this hostile energy. You're feeling very like almost defensive, like about whatever happened. You feel the need to defend yourself or that feeling of needing to be fair and have justice, you need to stop, like you need to drop your control of needing to defend your side or prove that you were right. So if any of you guys are feeling that way, you need to, like, it's not getting you anywhere. And the only way you can really like start moving on past this is drop your need to be defensive. Um, I don't know how else to say that message. That's what I'm getting loud and clear. TikTok, maybe, you know, either you've been staying in this too long, I don't know how long you've been going through this, but you either have been in this mode for too long and you're staying, you know, staying there too long or it's asking you just to hurry up and move on to, again, what makes you sore. I never really looked at this card too much, it's a pretty cool card. There's a face on this clock and, um, yeah, I think it's just urging you to it's time to move past this this mode, this in our heads, this being stuck and fixated on defending our position in this, and it's time to, to move back. TikTok, you spend enough time here, we're moving on. Sir Edward, or Edward, your biggest fear might just contain your greatest growth. I think we were just talking about that, how sometimes, it's crazy, okay, sometimes, you know, we go through a lot of stuff and don't realize that it's what's making us grow and be a better person. So just know that your biggest fear or sorrow or whatever, he's got red eyes. So sleepless nights could be your greatest growth. Energy. With boundless energy, you can accomplish more than you ever thought possible. So once you get out of this, you know, it's laziness in this card, but I just feel like, and I'm just reading as people are just sitting in this grief. Once you can get past this, like being stuck in your grief, stuck in your head, stuck in your anxiety, you will find all this boundless energy and you can accomplish more than you ever thought possible. So if you're in a moment where you can't get motivated, maybe start writing down everything you want to do and start working on that list, even if it's one small thing. Um, again, I think people that, um, are watching this pile, I feel the need to tell you that you really need to get grounded in nature and um, that you will even or find somewhere, get outside for a little bit. Get out if you can get with the sun on your face or something like that, be near water, whatever it is about nature that you like. Even if it's something very small, just like go buy some flowers and have something living near you. <laughs> or, well, I guess flowers are dying, but you get my point. Something with life in it that came from earth, start grounding yourself eating more healthy, you know, plant-based kind of foods could help too. Um, I just feel like we need a lot of grounding in this group. Abundance. Harmonize your thinking with exactly what you desire to attract and the universe will deliver. So again, I think we need to take our energy out of this anxiety, thinking about how this should have gone, how it wasn't fair, how this and that, and just change that change your thinking to what you will truly want for yourself. And I don't mean trying to manifest this other person. Think about what you want to manifest truly for yourself and you will find the abundance. You, everyone has free will. So anyone who think, I don't want to put anybody's choices down, but if you think you would want to control somebody else or not put them under a spell, but you know what I mean? Like anyone's actions or call them back or whatever. Everybody has their own free will. Everyone has their own journey. What's meant for you will never pass you by. 
So just focus on what's good for you and good for your soul and good for your heart. You don't try to control other people. Wild. So I feel like I should look up this card, but um, this is a new deck I just got. But looking at this, I feel like you need to find what makes you wild again. Like what sets up your passion? Like she's wearing red. She's wearing, um, and the red's the color of the root chakra, which is also about grounding. So again, I really feel like we're, you guys are being asked to start grounding yourself. If you deal, do any type of chakra stuff, um, start focusing on anything like for the root chakra, which are like red foods, um, rock, you know, any crystals, they can carry something that's red on you or anything that's black, which is good for grounding, like black tourmaline. My favorite, I always keep a piece of black obsidian with me at all times. I keep black obsidian and rose gold or rose quartz. Um, black obsidian to keep me grounded and to, you know, promote positivity and um, actually I have them in my pocket. I'll show you guys. There's no shame in my game. <laughs> We're going off point here, but I keep this for grounding. It's black obsidian and then I keep rose quartz in my pocket to remind me to keep some love for myself. I have a tendency to give all my love away. So it's just a little reminder. So those are things that are helpful for me. But just being that we're talking about grounding in these cards, you know, things either with red or dark or focusing on your root chakra, getting close to nature. I also have this piece of petrified wood, which is kind of cool. They don't always have to be this big, but just again, we need to ground ourselves, work on your root chakra, feeling safe and secure in who you are. Expression. You are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love. It goes back to abundance about manifesting. So you guys might have been thinking about having some realizations and epiphanies for what you really want your life to be like. And, you know, it's time to start manifesting those thoughts. Again, stuff for yourself, things that truly make you happy and feel abundant, and start working on manifesting those. That's really cool. Even like just, if you've never told someone out loud, like not this person, but just express like what you really want in your life, start just saying, even you're just saying it to the universe. It's very powerful. Your thoughts and your words are very powerful. Speak the language of love. Loving words have power to change lives, including your own. So I think this is also about, not necessarily to other people, since this is a reading for you, you need to start speaking kindly to yourself. If you have a habit of putting yourself down, using words and um, just any language, any thoughts, even when you like pass by me or if you're thinking like something negative about yourself, you need to stop and appreciate who you are. And this is a weird exercise to say, or not weird for everyone, but it was really hard for me to do for a long time or I would laugh or thought it was silly. Next time you go by a mirror, it can be in the bathroom by yourself, you don't do it in front of people or whatever, I want you to stop, look yourself in the eye, and say, I love you. And then the first, at the beginning, it might be you feel really silly, you feel stupid, but I promise you, just keep saying I love you every time you see a mirror, every time you look yourself deep in your eyes, and if you can do it repeatedly, if you have a little extra minute, just say I love you. I love you and really start to truly mean that to yourself, I'm telling you it will change your life. Self-love is huge. If you can really start loving yourself, you will only start attracting people who truly love you as well. Self-love is massive. Okay. Respect. I love the, the color of it. This card is a beautiful card, but um, this is respect for yourself. This goes hand in hand. Um, you need to start respecting who you are, respecting this person that's here. You know, stop being gluttonous or lazy. Respect yourself. Like, respect the things you put in your body. Respect what you do with it. Respect your thoughts. Respect your desires. You have. You can't expect anyone else to respect you if you can't respect yourself. You are an amazing, beautiful person, but you also are the only one who can pull yourself out of this. So, yeah, I just like this card. I think I want to frame a card like that. It's beautiful. So keep going, keep going. All right. Easy does it. Your health, happiness, and abundance require a general approach to life and work. So, so maybe this laziness doesn't, you know, sit for everybody. So if there's anyone watching this that also is just like needs to constantly be doing something to distract themselves, maybe slow down a little bit. 
or as you're working on this stuff doesn't mean you have to just jump full force into things because that's not necessarily healthy so find your balance and also just be easy on yourself I can read this card just as like loving yourself this is blue, so it's the color of the show, throat chakra. So speaking your truth to yourself. Again, I think we really need to focus on how we're speaking to ourselves. If we're being kind to ourselves or being easy with ourselves. You should be your own best friend and you need to be nicer to yourself. Because, you know, you spend... The person you talk to most is yourself in your head and those need to be nice, kind words. Soul craft. So this card is about finding what lights you up in your soul. So whatever experience or whatever, yeah, if hobbies, types of books, shows, whatever, you know, whatever can distract you from this heartache that lights you up, start working on that. If it's a craft of some sort, maybe some people watching this are kind of crafty or used to be or had a passion for something, it's time to find what, what lights your soul up. We have, when I learn, or when I lean towards love, I am led. So love is the answer for everything. Um, we also have the moon in this picture, which is about your intuition. So I think you guys need to start loving yourself a little more and lean into that and you'll be led to where you need to go. All right, and the last little card we have is from the Divine Doorways um, little oracle kit. I just really like doorways and gates and architecture and stuff so I had to pick these up and they're just beautiful I just want to travel the world and take pictures does anyone want to go with me and do that <laughs> so the message for this is a note on love seek different seasons and enter into the unknown when love is the focus foundation and goal blessed is the body mind and soul so again this is a note towards loving yourself seeing the different you know there's different seasons of our lives we have up and down again healing's not linear but recognizing that we're rolling through these seasons and as you start unfolding these things and discovering these epiphanies about yourself um, you'll open the door for love on focus and foundation and and your goals in life so um, yeah you're being asked to your mind body soul we need to start meditating and uh, yeah if anyone needs any tips or whatever a meditation and there I have some cool apps that I use for guided meditations which if you've never done any sort of meditation I think that's where you should start it's easier to quiet your mind that way having someone teach you or tell you what to focus on it just makes it easier than just trying to sit there in silence um, um, you know comment me and I I can I can give you tips and stuff on that because it's something I find extremely helpful and powerful all right group two um, I'm sorry that you guys are having so much heartache I can feel it but we need to shift our energy and start finding our soul like what makes us just our, find your passion again ground yourself love yourself love yourself love yourself love yourself I can't say that enough I should title this please love yourself um, and everything will start shifting so if you did like um, like this video please like subscribe share um, comment anything I love to hear any and all things from you guys I really appreciate you being here helping me fulfill my soul purpose um, is helping other people um, in a way that is good for their soul and um, I really appreciate all you guys being here so I hope this helps thanks guys Sorry if anyone's sitting here watching this. I need to breathe for a second. Okay, pile three. This is the Sacred Seven Stone. It's pretty cool. I just got it the other day. I wish I had my little sheet of paper out. I could tell you everything it's for, but it kind of looks like amethyst. But yeah, this is the Sacred Seven Stone. All right, guys. This has been kind of a tough reading so far, so... Forgive me if I'm a little more posy or whatever. A lot of heavy energies with anyone going through this kind of thing. So I'm sorry if you have. The point of this video is we're discussing um, like basically how to go about through heartaches, a breakup, separation, guidance for how to get you through this moment in your t in your life, and it's just a moment. 
um, and just things to focus on, just some guidance for overall well-being. So um, let's see what we got. Getting the last two piles kind of draining. I apologize if I'm a little, a little down or, yeah. So much love to everybody watching this because, whew, yeah, okay. Hmm. Thunderbolt. So this is the tower. So you guys have been through a really hard time. You've been struck by life and it's struck you down. Some big life changes come crashing down around you. So not surprising. I did not pull any of these on purpose. These are all just how they came out. So we already know where we're starting. We're starting with some harsh energies here. So um, again, you guys wouldn't be here if you weren't going through some painful times. Um, just know that tower moments are sometimes needed as hard as they are when you're going through them. It's needed for life experience and life change. And we are here to learn lessons. We're here on earth to learn polarity. Um, not just all the good, but all the bad, because you can't appreciate the good unless you know the polar a pole opposite of that emotion. So, um, yeah, okay, sorry. 10 of acorns. Crap, or spots of late dedication. Acorns are wands, okay. <laughs> I forgot for a second. Sorry, in this deck. Now I feel like I have to look this up. I apologize. This is this is me being real right guy. No, I just want to make sure I am saying this right fire. Okay, yeah. This is Ten of Wands. I'm sorry. So I think a lot of you guys have been carrying a lot of this pain and um, responsibility. Burdens. Maybe this tower moment has to do with family and you have a lot of responsibilities and that's weighing on you. or dedication or you're very dedicated to this situation that kind of fell apart hmm. five of fire five of wands so um, this is you know um, it says about competing goals bothersome details conflict with others so again I feel like you guys have been through a fight and you're probably really drained with the responsibility feeling a very drained energy right now as if I wasn't already drinking <laughs> before but this is all good it's all good I'm here to, to share stuff so let's keep going <sighs> okay uh, mm. not surprising we have the three of swords which is that if anyone doesn't know tarot that's pretty self-explanatory you have been stabbed 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 maybe there's been like a third party situation here that's caused a heartache. Maybe there's family and there's more than one person. You've had a lot of, lot of hurt, but I'll say this card is in reverse, so that is a good thing. Um, that means you're moving out of this cycle, out of this hurt, and the fact that it came at the end of this. So you've had your tower moment. You have a lot of responsibilities. You feel like you've been in this fight, probably defending yourself, and you have a lot of heartache, but <sighs> yeah. Let's see what oracle advice we can get for you guys. Because, again, no one would be lit watching this if they haven't or are in a hard spot. So let's see what we, what we can get. You are stronger than you know. So I need you guys to start being your own cheerleader. Maybe there's no one after this. You feel like there's no one left to support you. You're going to have to learn to be your own support system. Because you are strong. You are this butterfly. You are going to you know, fly away, you're gonna, you know, you might be in a cocoon period after all this, but it's time to realize your strength. And I know sometimes we say, but I don't wanna have to be this strong. Sometimes we have to be. Um, but yeah, you're, you're stronger than you know. So you're gonna be okay. You are gonna be okay. You are moving out of this. So this upside down, beautiful. We're loving that. So we're ending this cycle. We're getting out of this. So you're stronger than you know blossoming in abundance so almost feels like a prediction reading instead of a guidance reading so um just focus on the abundance in your life so threes are about creativity self-expression outcomes so um if there's anything creative that you've been thinking about doing start focusing on that because it's going to blossom with some abundance definitely you're stronger 
you are going to blossom and you're going to be abundant. You're going to get past all this and you're going to come out way better in the end. So yeah, start focusing on things that creatively light you up, make you feel good. Okay, round and around. So maybe this whole fight has been going on and on and on, but also we have this card in reverse. So you're moving out of the cycle. If you feel like you're on like this broken record, so to speak, you're gonna be moving out of it or you need to focus on moving out of it. So what can you do to change and get out of this cycle that's just going around and around that's keeping you feeling heavy, feeling, bur feeling burdened, feeling heavy, feeling like defending yourself? You need to start moving out of that and shift your focus or you'll continue to go round and round. But with this being reversed, I think that's good. I usually don't keep reversed cards, but that one I, I feel is good for that. So Crystal Tourmaline and Haru, your energy flows where your attention goes. So this is just reminding you that what you think about expands. So if you're focusing on this burden, on these responsibilities, on this, what am I going to do? How am I going to do this? All you're seeing is like the negativities or the, the obstacles you have to get over, you're going to get stuck there. So you need to start shifting your energy into looking at the opportunities and where you can go from here, where you can move ahead, um, where you don't have to feel so strong and so burdened anymore. Um, not feeling so stuck in this round and round circle. So if you feel like you can't even see that, try to step back. Even if you have a good friend that you can ask that say, hey, objectively, I'm not gonna get mad if you criticize it. Objective, ob objectively, can you help me see a way out of this or around this? Or even if it's the smallest little eh in a different direction to get out of this cycle you've been in, you're gonna find a lot of abundance. And when you start focusing on your solutions instead of all the problems, everything's going to shift and that's what you'll you'll just start seeing more and more you know opportunities to change enlightenment enlightenment will unearth your higher consciousness so a lot of you guys are probably going through some sort of awakening at this point you're having some aha moments um and abundance is just around the corner so um it's time you know to go within a little and you know breathe and just again, focus on the light. She's just looking at this beautiful little lightning bug. And um, you're gonna get some enlightenment, especially when you go within. I will always, in these kind of readings, talk about meditation. If you don't, start working on a practice. If you feel like you can't meditate, don't worry. It's called a practice for a reason. You gotta practice at it. Even if you start with like a couple minutes, if you try to do at least five days of the week in four minutes, and even if only like, 10% of that time you can actually quiet your mind enough to focus, it's brilliant. It's gonna help you. And eventually you can move up to like trying to do like 20 minutes a day and stuff like that. Start with guided meditation. If you have questions about apps and stuff like that that are free, good for that, um, let me know and I can let you know some good meditation guided apps that I love. Um, going within is really where all, all the answers reside within you. You just have to quiet yourself enough to, to, to hear them. So I always like to say prayer is talking to God and meditation is God talking to you. All right. Courage. Courage is the strength to stand up when it's easier to fall down. So again, you guys are carrying a load of responsibilities, a load of burden. It would feel easier just to fall down and let it roll over you. But I, I think we have a, this is, this is the group of fighters. I think this is the group of no matter what you've gone through, you're not letting it break you down. So just continue to have your courage. Things are gonna look up. You're gonna start, when you start focusing on your opportunities, you're gonna start seeing the light at the end of your tunnel. It's coming, guys. You are blossoming for abundance and you are stronger than you know. You're probably sick of hearing that. I have a feeling someone, someone's probably like, Ugh, say that one more time and I'm gonna punch it. Anyways, okay. Ooh, this is asking you to discover your life purpose this person is happens to be playing a violin so um, if you are musically inclined or that's what lights your soul up then go with that um, even if it's just you like music dance this this doesn't have to do with this card at this moment but just dancing to your favorite piece of music when you're feeling down can help transform you out of that space so but um, start like if you're not doing what you love in life even in the tiniest bit, 
start trying to move towards your life purpose or moving towards things that light you up and fill you up and fill your own cup. And then whatever happens around you won't really matter because you're whole and full from the inside. Okay. Vision. No matter what, you see the bigger picture and of a loving, just universe. So again, I feel like we have some some major fighters can't break me down no matter what's happened I see the good in life I feel like maybe you guys wear your heart on your sleeve a little bit it's not a bad thing it's a beautiful thing not everybody will understand but don't necessarily change that don't harden your heart during all this demonstrate love find out what is important to those you love and act on it so sometimes doing acts of service for someone else even when you don't feel like it just shifting your focus on doing something kind for somebody else or loving or even for your, yourself can just help you feel good and raise your vibration. Mental repetition. Okay, so, um, sorry, I was just kind of looking at this card. Um, if you're caught up in, again, this round and round and round. Let's try to break that cycle and start looking for the good in things. We're gonna start shifting our focus. Again, for pile three, I think your main goal and lessons in this is shifting your focus from the all the bad things going on to all the good things that could happen. So, yeah. Balancing masculine and feminine energies. Allow your feminine side to creatively inspire you and your masculine side to give you confidence. So yeah, again, I feel like um, you guys need to find, again, what lights you up. Sorry, just hit that. Um, and find your creative, yeah, find your creativity and find the confidence within that. Um, awakening. <laughs> and I think a lot of you guys might be going through a spiritual awakening. And it's not pretty, guys. So, or not always. It's not always bad. But it's not necessarily like all puppy dogs and rainbows. So, just, just be kind to yourself during this. And just try to see the lesson in things. And go within. Meditate. We need to meditate, guys. And everybody's probably rolling their eyes. But... I promise you, you start doing it, talk to me in a couple weeks, you'll have a, a change of tune, no doubt. So, and if you aren't having an awakening, maybe if you start meditating, you will, you'll start finding your purpose. If you're not, if you're feeling very scatterbrained and not sure where to go, just stop, silence, you know, the silence always knows, there's answers in silence. All right. Instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good of all. This kind of is like shifting your focus about, you know, me, 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 to shifting your focus for the good of everyone and the good, yeah, the good for everyone. And sometimes that helps, you know, just being grateful at night instead of like begging for, I need X, Y, Z, just start naming off everything you're grateful for. If you go outside in nature at all, you know, or you're on a walk or doing anything that's peaceful, instead of like, Focusing on like all these bad things or all my responsibilities or all these checking off all these things you have to do Stop for a moment and with every step you take think of one thing that you're think grateful for or thankful for Just start shifting your focus and I'm telling you it'll shift your whole mood Oops. Our last little one is these um, divine doorways I tell this every time I talk about this. I love architecture. I love sunsets if you guys notice my picture um, It's all about the Sun and light so uh, let's read the message it says sunset time here turns to release and unfurl old cords of pain fade as the sunlight burns so again we need to shift away from this painful cycle we've been in where you felt stuck and it's time to move into your life purpose start figuring out what that is if you don't know start going within because the soul knows the soul always knows we just have to quiet ourselves enough to hear it. I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you like this, please like, subscribe, share. I love hearing from you guys. Again, if you need any meditation tips, please let me know. Um, 
that's a big passion of mine so uh, and I was not always good at it still not have my moments so um, yeah I'd love to hear your input and uh, hopefully you guys found this helpful and thank you guys so much for being here with me it's been an honor um, yeah until next time guys thank you so so much